What I want to do is give you a quick run through of a security testing script that I've developed and make available for free that allows you to evaluate your current environment as well as generate some alerts uh, that you can ensure your reporting systems are working as expected. Now this script I've developed in PowerShell. Now to run that we'll need to uh, fire up the PowerShell ISC environment uh, to achieve that. So just go into your machine, start and then run uh, the PowerShell ISC. Now we're selecting the ISC because it's going to allow us to paste uh, the script into the top component there. Now the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to change to a directory that I've already uh, created that I know is empty because this process will uh, create some files for testing. So my advice to you would be is to uh, run this from a uh, pre-created empty directory if at all possible. So once we've got the PowerShell environment up and running, what I'm going to do is uh, fire up the browser here and I'm going to navigate to my GitHub repository. Now you'll find that at github.com forward slash director CIA forward slash office 365. Now when we look there, you'll see a range of scripts. All of these are freely available for you to use. But what we're looking for is a script towards the bottom here, uh, basically called sec test so sec dash test dot ps1 now if we select that from the list here you'll see that you get a listing of the scripts contents you can go in and examine more as to exactly uh, what it does but to get it into our current environment what i'll do is i will select the raw option here and then i will use control a to select the script in total i will then select control c to paste that and then what I'll do is go back to my PowerShell and paste that into the top window that will then allow me to run the script. So this machine here on which I'm running the script is a standalone machine, uh, a normal Windows 10 professional environment, uh, up to date and the only other prerequisite is to have a version of Word on the machine so that can be tested uh, as well during the process. Now with all that in place, all I need to do is uh, select the go button here. So I will run the script. Now the first thing that the script will do is try and download uh, a known file with a known signature in there. In this case, the file is being extracted from uh, the eCar environment. And you'll see that that has failed to download, which means that uh, my environment is protected. Then what I will do is run a process to go and look at the reporting inside uh, Defender, Windows Defender, to ensure that that, again, has been detected. You'll see that it has been so. And if I go into my alerts over here, you'll notice, uh, again, that this has been detected. So, again, that's a positive. So once that has been uh, completed, it will then complete a memory test. So it's going to try and create a virus simply using uh, the script and see if that gets detected. You'll see here that that is the case. So again, that protection is in place. Now, the next step I'm going to try is to dump the LSASS process. Now, if you don't know, if you right mouse click and go into your task manager and in the details here, you will see that there is a process called LSAS, okay? And what we should not be able to do is to go in and then create a dump file. Now that dump file could potentially make available uh, logins and passwords that could then be uh, decrypted. So what I wanna check and ensure is that I cannot dump this either as the current user context as well as an administrator. So what I need to do to achieve that programmatically is to download uh, procdump.exe from uh, sysinternal. So this is a normal utility. I haven't found it in my current directory, so I am going to download it. And then I'm going to use that to try and do uh, basically a dump of that uh, process. Now you'll see by the warning there that it has failed. I've been able to dump that process as an elevated with elevated permissions using uh, an admin context, which is not good. So it's failed that and something that would need to be addressed. Now the next step is to check the Mimikatz. So Mimikatz is typically the 
process that is used to extract that information from any dump. We want to make sure that that can also not run in our environment and that has been confirmed as well. The next test allows me to generate a failed login uh, attempt in my Microsoft 365 environment. I need to go into the appropriate logs to ensure that that has uh, been recorded uh, and captured. So I need to go and have a look at that. The next test will launch uh, Word and it will load a document and it will now test again for uh, the macros that are running uh, automatically. Now you'll see it has been blocked by default here. It's going to ask me to enable content, but let's just go through the process and enable the content. Now the issue here is that you'll see that because I've enabled that content, an automated process has run and launched the command prompt and this is a, a bad thing. So it has failed uh, that test there. So we go back to the script here, you'll see basically that I should be getting a failure of that macro to run. I should not uh, have a command prompt environment launching and unfortunately I did. Continuing on, again, we'll load another Word document. Again, it is prevented by default, but I'm going to go and enable the content. That will run an automated macro in the background. Now, in this case, it has been detected and prevented, which is good. We get a nice warning message there, so that's great. Close that, and that test has succeeded. Now, what, what it will attempt to do is, again, to try and launch a process using a JavaScript and a VB script. Now, the success of that means that uh, Notepad did launch, so that has been a successful, successful attempt or attack, and we need to go and look and address the security of the environment because it really should be blocking that as per the uh, text here in the script. Continuing on, we'll once again launch a Word document. In this case, it will uh, load another document for us. You'll see that we have to go in and once again uh, enable the content. Now in this case nothing happens. Now the reality is something has in fact happened behind the scenes but if you look into the actual macros running this uh, document what we find here is that I believe there's an error in that process. You'll see here that it talks about system 3. I believe that should be system 32. That is something that I have let uh, Microsoft know about so that they can address that and fix it for their document. Now, where do these documents come from for testing? Well, that's an easy answer. If we launch our browser again, you'll see that these test documents have come from a demo Microsoft site, demo.wd.microsoft.com, and this is the source of that information. Now, you can do what I'm doing here manually, but I've just automated that in the script. Next test, we'll try and launch a child process again. If we see a Notepad launch here, then it has once again failed that test. So if we click OK, you'll see that indeed Notepad has launched. This is not what we would what we really want. So I'll go OK there. You'll see the result is set to zero. Our expectation is, is the result should be equal to two. And you'll see that there is a process number shown 5484 and we should have no process number in this so this test has failed. Continuing on I'll try and access a number of URLs here so this one here is going to go to a demo uh, phishing site and you'll see that Edge as the primary browser has detected that and warned us to take appropriate action so that has been uh, successfully blocked. Uh, we'll run this one here to again try a phishing attack and you'll see that the warning here uh, comes from smart screen preventing us from going to that phishing site. The next attempt here will be to try and download uh, a program directly. Once again in this case the uh, edge has jumped in with smart screen and prevented that. The next test will again launch the browser and we will now go to a demonstration or a demo style exploit that's known to have a bad code in the page. This has again been picked up by Smart Screen, so that is a good result. Once again, we'll launch the browser and now test putting that same sort of exploit inside a frame. 
So you'll see that has been detected as well by Edge. And continuing on, what we're going to attempt here is to download uh, this EXE and it has been once again uh, blocked nicely here by Edge. And we'll close the browser. Continuing on, so it's going to now attempt to download a known malicious program. And again, Edge has jumped in and prevented that. So that is a positive result. Uh, continuing on once again, you'll see that we try and download some potentially unwanted uh, software and that has been detected and noted and captured by uh, Edge. So that is the completion of the script. You can obtain that script again freely. All you need to do is to navigate to my GitHub repository. Once again, that GitHub address is github.com forward slash director CIA forward slash Office 365. Scroll down the list of files listed there and look for sec-test. Select that and as I said, basically get that down onto a machine and the easiest way to operate that is to do so inside the PowerShell ISC. Just simply copy and paste, put it in there and then run it. Now the script has been designed to run on any environment. There's no limitations apart from requiring PowerShell and having Word on the device on which you test. You can use any AV products, you can use any configuration, but the idea is, is the script will access documents which uh, use very, very common uh, attack methods for systems and give you a bit of a baseline and understanding of how well protected your system is. The ancillary benefit is also that it will generate report uh, alerts that you should be able to go and view in your reporting mechanisms and ensure that that process is working as expected. So the script is aimed at performing those two tasks to assist you improving your security posture. I take this opportunity to thank you very much for watching this video.